take two five inch rounds and inflate to about four inches. So that's about three strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. Give it a twist and inflate the other one. Twist, round off and tie. Okay, and make another one of these. Take your dew plates and twist them together. Okay, there you go. Take your five inch rounds and size to four and a half inches. So about four strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. One, two, three, four. Round off. Give a twist to that balloon and hold on to it. Take your next one. One, two, three, four. Round those off a little bit and tie. Make another one of those. Take the two balloons, set and collect, connect them together. Okay, so you've got a cluster of four. And place your top cluster on top of the larger cluster so that one balloon sits in between the gap between these two balloons. Okay, take one of the necks and pull through to the other side and figure of eight around the top layer. Okay, so just twist them round, let that go and those balloons are connected. Take a sand weight and position here. Pull that through into the centre and then twist that around. It's figure of eight around that top layer. And that will secure everything for you in position. Next, take a 646 that's inflated to about 15 inches and wrap this into the base here. So just pull that through into the center and wrap around. Okay, and that's secured. Next, take a 260 in black. We're not going to use all of it. And wrap it around the base. Pinch hold of that. Give the balloon a twist. Wrap that neck a nozzle through and then snip off the end and tie. You might want to tie that a second time just to be on the safe side. Okay, and then we can snip off the excess. and the nozzle, just to tidy that up. Okay, and we've got the base of our post box. Next, next, take a 350 in red, we're not gonna use all of it, and just wrap that around the top of your post box in the same way that we did the black. Snip off the end. can just trim these bits off. Position that at the back. Take a 160 in red and do the same thing. Just wrap that around. Trim this off. Tie.
the top of your mailbox. Okay, and we can cut off the end of this 646. Arrange him and we can move this higher up. Okay, and just hang on to that. Okay, oops. Hang on to that. And then twist off a bubble of about four inches or so. Okay, and then wrap that bubble into this balloon here. Okay, and with your other balloon, twist off another bubble to match this one. Okay. And then wrap the two together. Okay, you can go through the middle if you want to. So we've got the start of our gingerbread girl's dress. And then you want to twist off a very small bubble of about one finger. So it's about half the uh, size of your um, this balloon. And then twist off a bubble that is just slightly smaller than the one below. I'm going at that. Okay. And then here, twist off another bubble of one finger and wrap the two together here. Okay. Give it a little squeeze. Bring this back round and twist another bubble to match this one. Okay. And then just twist those two together. Okay, back here, twist another tiny bubble and then another bubble that is slightly smaller than this one. Okay, hang on to that and then twist off another bubble another tiny bubble and wrap those two together okay give the balloon a bit of a squeeze bring this round and you want to twist another bubble to match this one you've got her little dress. Then twist off a bubble, two to three fingers, and turn that into a pinch twist. Okay, 
And then they do, do the same thing here, a bubble of two to three fingers and make a pinch this. Okay, and then we can pinch twist these. And we can pinch twist this one as well. Let's hide the nozzles at the back. Okay, that's what you've got. Now we can break these off. And tie. And break off. And tie. And what you can do with these ends is just bring them across and wrap into that pinch twist there. It just cinches everything together a little bit and just gives it a bit more of a rounded shape. Okay, and there's the dress. Take a 350 and soften it. And we want to twist off a bubble that is about 10 inches or so. We're going to want to make legs that are about this sort of size. So twist that off, cut off the ends, Tie. Wrap this end into the dress. Twist off a leg that is about half the size of that bubble. And then wrap the other end into this pinch twist here. and then you can cut off the excess. Take a little bit of 260, tie a knot to make a raisin, and tie another one at the same point. So you've got this thick knot, and then we're just going to cut off the excess on either side. Okay. So you've got this thick piece there. And put that inside your five inch round. Okay. And inflate. Okay. And then I like to soften a little bit and round off. I'm going to want to pinch off that raisin. So I want it to be nice and soft. Tie. Okay, take 160 in red and twist off a bubble of a couple of fingers and then make a very small loop. Attach about two fingers and another small loop to match. A couple of fingers. Okay, break off the rest. And just let this down until you have a small bubble. Okay, and we can pinch twist that bubble. And we can pinch twist this bubble. And then we can cut this little bit off. Okay, so we've got a little bow. Take the head. I want to twist off the raisin about there. Okay, so grab hold of it and twist. And don't stick your nail in it the way I've just done. And then wrap that raisin directly into... that bow, okay? And then just move everything around. Okay, take a 160 in white 
and twist off a series of bubbles. Doesn't really matter how large, they don't have to be the same size even. Because once we've done a few, we're going to do this. Okay, and I just want them to appear as wavy lines. Okay, and then I very loosely want to wrap that around the base of the bow. Okay. Wrap that in there. Trim off the rest. And tie. Trim off the ends. Take the rest of your 160 and make some more bubbles. So there are lots of little different tricks and decorations that you can do with the hat and the face, okay? And again, we're just gonna let those go so you've got that crinkle. And what I want to do is I just want to wrap that loosely into the bow. Next, take a 260 in mocha brown and twist off a little hand. So we just want a little loop that is about three fingers. We pass that knot and nozzle through and then make a small two finger pinch twist. And then another two finger bubble and pinch twist that. Okay, so we've got our little hand. And then I just want a little arm of about three fingers. And wrap that into the pinch twist at the shoulder. Okay. And then I want you to Twist off a section of uninflated balloon. So we're just creating this bit of slack. And then run that forward across the neck. Whoops. Across the neck. And then to the pinch twist there. Okay, just saves us breaking off. Okay, and then I want another little three finger bubble. 
followed by a two finger bubble and pinch twist, followed by another two finger bubble and pinch twist. Okay, and then a little three finger hand. Put that in. Break this off. And tie. Trim off the end. I need to. And we'll just tidy everything up. Next, take a 160 and tie that into the neck. Okay. Take your ginger girl's body and pass those tails through the centre of those of the dress. And just feed that through the layers. actually okay and then if you want you can actually bring them to the side just to cinch everything together okay and then we can trim off the ends and just tidy things up okay so for my gingerbread girl I use a Sharpie pen for the artwork, and I like to do some black uh, eyes and eyelashes. Oops, I haven't gone too well on that one, but never mind. Okay, and I'll do the little mouth. Get to underline that little mouth just with a bit of red. sizes. I'm probably going to be using about 14 to 16 balloons, okay, and tie them together. Okay, take your gingerbread girl, put her on a base, pull those through, wrap around, and then take another cluster and wrap those around when she's on a little organic base and just hide those nozzles. I've also used some of these clear balloons with the frosting in that I've made. So make clusters. Take a 160 and wrap into the cluster. Okay. okay, and then at the other end, wrap in the other end to the other cluster. So you're effectively making a stretch duplet. Okay, and then take your base and just wrap cluster into the base. Okay. And swap them around a little bit. So you've got the frosted ones at the front. And 
this takes a little bit of arranging. Take a 160 and wrap that into the base of your gingerbread character. Okay. And then we want to pull that into the base. Okay, so you might want to pull that round, that through. Okay, and we can go back up to secure that. And we can bring these in closer as well. So there's one final thing I do with this and I cover it with snow spray. So I've covered the um, gingerbread girl in plastic, I give everything a good shake and then I just kind of spray around the top. Okay, our little gingerbread girl needs a little card to post. So I always use a business card. This one's going by a Rudolph mail. There's a little sticky dot here. I've got a couple of these going out today. I'm finding it's a really popular design. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I publish my longer tutorials on Tuesdays and I have shorter tutorials that come out at, at different intervals depending on what I'm doing. So I hope you like this and I'll see you again in the next video.